we're in this together. You do it your way, show me how it's done, and then I'll do it my way and I'll show you how it's done. Or you can show me something new. Show me how to do it. Let's do it. My way is purely by showing love and support. How do you, support of what? By being here and by promoting and by cheering. Promoting? Did you say promoting? By cheering. Cheering on what? Cheering on these people that are Cheering around nakedness? Is that what you stand for as a Christian? I'm sorry, you're not a Christian. Oh wait, this is what I mean. When I say you're coming out of a place that's aggressive, I'm saying that I don't think it's effective. So you're, okay. I'm, I'm feeling intimidated by you right now. Okay. And, and, I'm, and, and I'm a straight and, 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 and guess, Christian, and I'm feeling intimidated I don't think you're a Christian, you. sister. Because if you support nakedness, if you support sexual morality, and you're cheering for it, you're not a Christian. Because Jesus said, the first thing he said in Mark chapter 1, verses 14, repent. Repent of what? Your sin. John the Baptist came and said, repent for the kingdom of God is at hand. Repent. Repent of what? Jesus was the God of the Old Testament. He stood for the, the Ten Commandments. He stood for the Torah in the Bible. He was against sexual immorality. He is the God of the universe. So I agree that I'm, I'm a sinner. Do you agree with that? I absolutely agree that I'm a sinner. You have to let me just finish my, my sentence. All I'm saying is I would just ask you to think about your approach. Why don't you show me how you do it? I'm telling you that as, as a straight Christian, I'm intimidated by you and I find you aggressive and I find you aggressive. There's some people that took Bibles, some will be saved, some I can't help. But you know what? I wonder if John the Baptist, people would have been intimidated by him. He told the Pharisees, the religious people, he said, don't even say that you're sons of Abraham. The, the, the axe is already at the root and ready to cut you down. Now that's very intimidating, isn't that? I think as an intelligent man, you have to realize that we're not living in the same time. No, we are because... In order to, in order to yeah. have your voice heard by yeah. the mass public, yeah. you need to take a different approach. So are you, you is your voice it. being heard? How many people, how many people have been come, come to Jesus Christ through your ministry? How many people have come to Jesus Christ through me? Yeah. Many! Good. Are they living right or are they cheering on sexual immorality like you? I don't know. You can ask my husband. You're, you're, you're cheering on sexual morality. That's wrong. But what does that have... What you... You're cheering on the very things that put Jesus on the cross? The Bible says, whoever is ashamed of me and my words, I know, whoever I know. is ashamed of me and my words in this sinful and adulterous generation, he will be ashamed of you when he comes. Okay. I'm ashamed of do you. Do you stand on I'm, Jesus' I'm, words I'm, or your own your own politically correctness? I both. Absolutely. You both. You stand on both the Bible and your politically correctness? Absolutely. So you're not standing on God's word alone. No. The Bible says in Matthew chapter you know 4, verses 4, is that when, man when shall not live by bread here? alone. Why do you come here? You know here? why I come here? What? Tell me you why you need a come free here. Bible? No, okay, I don't need then a free you can Bible. Walk on I'm a fucking Catholic. Okay, I don't need a free swearing? Bible and I don't need so you up in this the, space. Is, is, the pope, is the Pope okay to swear? Sit down, sit down. I'm, I'm standing, ma'am. You, know, when, when yeah. you see, we have, we have, we have Catholics that are okay to swear. We have Christians that are okay to cheer on sexual morality. What's this world coming to? And we have... Do you, you know, stand... You know the Bible says... we have says, Christians that feel that it's acceptable to stand in judgment of everybody around Judge? Them. Are you not judging me right now? Thank you. No, I'm, I'm, I'm feeling judged by you. I'm telling and you're I'm judging me right now. You just told me you feel judged by me. I'm, you're judging what I do. You're telling me what I'm doing is wrong. Is that not a bunch of judgments against me? I asked... I'm are you judging me? I came here from a place of are you a place But of are you judging me right now? No. That's not judgment. No, so I'm when I tell people to repent of their sins, that's judgment? Yes. And you telling me that what I'm doing is wrong, that's not judgment. What I'm saying is that no matter what your, what your opinion is, no matter what your message is, So why don't you respect is, the way I do it, and don't judge me, and I'm not judging you. If you want to cheer as a Christian, there's a judgment day for that. Yeah. And if I'm going to preach like this, don't judge me and act okay. as if you're not judging me. So God bless you. Read the Bible. Matthew chapter 4, verses 4 says, Man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds forth from the mouth of God. And I want to leave you with one scripture. Are you going to cheer that? Are you going to cheer that? Is that okay? That's happiness, yeah. There we go. We got a Christian who thinks that's happiness. Yeah. God bless you, man. Seek the Lord because if you don't repent, you're going to hell, sister. This world is crazy. We got a world where... Christians are okay cheering on sexual immorality when the Bible clearly says that those who live like this will not inherit the kingdom of God, but we have Christians cheering that on. Now, I don't know what to say about that, but that's called a contradiction. Contradiction in terms. Because the Bible says, without holiness, no one shall see the Lord. That includes me, that includes you, that includes everybody. We just had a Catholic saying, what are you doing here? And I said, I'm handing free bows. You want one? I said, no, then you can move on. He said, well, she swear the F word. 
I'm shocked that a Catholic is okay with swearing. But these days, it's okay to be a Christian, it's okay to be a Catholic, and do whatever you want to do. And so that's what we're contending with in Toronto, is that Christians are okay with doing whatever they want to do, and they think it's right, and God somehow accepts that. We have a false notion of love. We think love means accepting anything. I am 100% sure that if I said God loves me, and if I went and raped somebody, I'm sure you would say that that's not acceptable. I'm sure if I went and go murdered somebody, and I said, well, God loves me, I'm sure you that wouldn't be acceptable. I'm sure if I went and go stole your car, and I said, stop judging me, God loves me, I'm sure that wouldn't be acceptable. What that tells me is that certain actions are not acceptable, but some people think that God must accept everything. They've created their own God.